Have you ever paused during a movie marathon and thought, hey, whatever happened to that actor? If you found yourself nodding, then get ready for a trip down memory lane. From Hollywood darlings to mega superstars, some names have just vanished. Who are they? Let's dive in. Number one, Jessica Alba. All right, let's dive into the intriguing world of Hollywood stars and their surprising career pivots. Ever heard of Jessica Alba? You might remember her from some, well, less than stellar movie roles like Fantastic Four and Awake. Funny thing is, she started her acting journey at the tender age of five. By 11, she snagged an acting prize that set her on a path complete with acting classes and a brand new agent. Sounds dreamy, right? But here's the twist. Even with all that passion, Alba kept finding herself in movies that, let's just say, didn't get the standing ovation. How many? Well, she got five Golden Raspberry nominations and even took home one of those not-so-coveted trophies. But hey, not every actor has a perfect track record, right? And here's the kicker. Alba once spilled the beans in an interview, confessing she felt like she retired from acting at 27. Instead, she shifted gears to explore the business world. Given her hit-and-miss film history, can you imagine how tricky it must be for her to snag a role in Hollywood now? Isn't it fascinating how life's script can sometimes be more surprising than the movies? Would you have put your acting dream on pause after such experiences? Number two, Amanda Bynes. Who remembers the hilarious skits from The Amanda Show on Nickelodeon back in the 90s? Yep, that bubbly, dynamic personality was none other than Amanda Bynes. With three seasons of comedic gold, you might think she was on top of the world. And for a while, she was. Venturing beyond her Nickelodeon roots, Amanda graced our screens with the show What I Like About You on the WB. As a 90s kid, it felt like Amanda was everywhere on TV. And why wouldn't she be? She was on fire. But as the saying goes, there's always a bigger fish. For Amanda, that bigger fish was the world of film. Now here's where it gets interesting. While she did sprinkle some of her magic in teen hits like She's the Man and What a Girl Wants, not all her movies hit the mark. There were a few, let's call them less than fan favorite movies. And somehow, this led to Amanda slipping away from the limelight, with her last major role being an easy A. But life isn't all laughs and giggles even for a comedian. Amanda hit a rough patch in the 2010 AS, facing legal challenges ranging from a drunk driving charge to, wait for it, starting a fire in someone's driveway. Honestly, who does that? Do you think these misadventures might have made casting directors think twice about ringing her up? Number three, Eddie Murphy. Ever found yourself humming to I'm a Believer imagining a certain funny-talking donkey singing it? Ah, yes, that's Eddie Murphy's magic. Bursting onto the scene in the 80s, Eddie wasn't just a triple threat. He was an all-rounder. Whether as the charming Mushu from Mulan, the hilarious Professor Klump from The Nutty Professor, or the street-savvy Billy Ray Valentine from Trading Places, Eddie's ability to light up the screen was impeccable. The guy was a sensation, making us laugh till our bellies hurt throughout the 80s and 90s. Fast forward a bit, and 2006 saw him shining bright, bagging a golden globe for dream girls and rubbing elbows with Oscar nominees. Top of the world, right? But wait, here comes the plot twist. Post Dream Girls, Eddie's film choices. Well, raised a few eyebrows. And not in the O, oh, that's intriguing way. We're talking about films like Norbit, Meet Dave, and Imagine That. And let's just say the Razzies seem to love him a bit too much, nominating him for ten of their special awards, of which he won three. The once superstar's recent roles seem a tad unfamiliar for his longtime fans. Could Eddie, our beloved comedic genius, have lost his touch? We root for his comeback, but it seems a rocky road ahead. Do you think Eddie can find his way back to the spotlight? Number four, Lindsay Lohan. Remember the days of jamming out to Jingle Bell Rock with a sassy group of high school girls? Or how about that hilarious body-switching chaos between a mother and daughter? Ah, yes, Lindsay Lohan gave us those iconic moments. Debuting in Disney's classic The Parent Trap remake back in 98, she became the IT girl of the early 2000s. So what went down? Amidst all the fame and fortune, Lindsay faced a turbulent roller coaster, with legal hiccups and personal life challenges dominating headlines. Her promising film career took a back seat. By 2013, our screen saw less of her, which, considering her talents, was quite a letdown. And let's spill some tea. The grapevine buzzed about her being, well, a teensy bit hard to manage on sets. Rumor has it, the film Georgia Rule had the crew on their toes with Lindsay's, erm, um, occasional tardiness. Does that make her Hollywood's persona non grata? But hey, plot twist. 
Lindsay's got two films in the pipeline this year. Could this be her redemption arc? Will she reclaim her former glory, or has her Hollywood sunset truly arrived? Stick around as we unravel this cinematic mystery. Number five, Shia LaBeouf. Ever find yourself shouting, just do it, at the top of your lungs? Ah, uh, that'd be thanks to Shia LaBeouf. Remember the mischief maker from Even Stevens? Don't act like you forgot. By 2003, he wowed us by digging into the mysterious story of holes. Shia, with his undeniable talent, later found himself amidst the grandeur of blockbusters like Indiana Jones and the thrilling Transformers series. But here's where the plot thickens. Shia's journey took a detour. His fiery ego led to a series of unfortunate headlines. From run-ins with the law to an oops, did I copy that? Short film scenario. The roller coaster of his career had its downs. And then came his venture into performance art. Remember hash I, I am sorry or the he will not divide us saga. But who could forget the iconic do it meme or that wildly catchy song where he's, wait for it, a cannibal? Yet, amidst these experimental ventures and spicy memes, it seems Shia's dazzling acting career has dimmed a bit. With him appearing sporadically on screen since 2014, will he find his way back into the limelight? Or perhaps he's sculpting a new artistic identity. Only time will tell. Number six, Freddie Prinze Jr. Remember that cool, tough guy on an episode of Family Matters in 1995? Yep, that was Prince. From there, it was a swift ride to the top. Who could forget his charming self in She's All That in 1999? And oh, the nostalgia of watching him as Fred in the live-action Scooby-Doo films in 2002. But plot twist, the Scooby-Doo films? Not the franchise goldmine folks expected. And Hollywood? They seemed a tad hesitant to cast Prince after his Scooby days, but hey, one door closes, another opens, right? Prince switched lanes to TV, and voila, he's nailing it. Remember him ticking away the time in season 8 of 24, and for the intergalactic fans out there, he's been voicing in Star Wars Rebels, playing our favorite Kanan Jarrus. Although he's been a bit off the cinematic radar lately, with just one movie in the last decade, Prince's star hasn't faded. Movies might be on pause but who knows what the future holds? Lights, camera, action, or maybe TV. Number seven, Tobey Maguire. Do you remember that time in the early 2000s when you couldn't turn a corner without bumping into Tobey Maguire? Well, not literally, but on movie posters? Ah, uh, yes, our very first cinematic Spider-Man. From tear-jerking roles in The Cider House Rules to heart-pounding moments in Seabiscuit, Maguire swung into our hearts. But hey, ever noticed? After that third webtastic adventure in Spider-Man 3, which, let's admit, had reviews more mixed than a fruit salad, Toby's starlight dimmed a tad, though he did leave us spellbound in Brothers with Jake Gyllenhaal and Natalie Portman. Oh, and who could forget his dapper presence in The Great Gatsby? But post that, it's been more hush-hush with just a few appearances, like that twist in Spider-Man, No Way Home. So here's a question for you. With all this superhero renaissance, will our OG Spider-Man swing back to the limelight? Fingers crossed. Number eight, Taylor Lautner. Remember that era when Team Jacob shirts were a fashion statement? Ah, the late 90s, when Taylor Lautner's face was, quite literally, everywhere. Before that werewolf phase, he was subtly marking his territory in the world of voice acting, popping up in shows like Danny Phantom and What's New, Scooby-Doo. But the real game-changer the global frenzy called Twilight. Yet, here's a fun thought. While Twilight was a blazing comet, Taylor's stardom seemed more like a shooting star, brief and brilliant. Post his Jacob Black days, he dabbled in various roles, but none seemed to have that Twilight magic. Remember the 2011 movie Abduction? Critics weren't kind, and let's just say Taylor's role added some spice to their reviews. Then there was his stint in Cuckoo and Scream Queens, and a blink and miss role in Grown Ups 2. So a burning question for all of you. After the sparkling vampire drama, where will the winds of Hollywood take Taylor next? Can he find another role that truly fits? Time will tell. All right, folks. As we dim the spotlight on some of Hollywood's once shining stars, it's fascinating to see how the glitz and glam can sometimes be fleeting. But remember, the world of cinema is full of twists and turns, and a comeback is always just one stellar roll away. So who knows? We might see these actors shine brightly again. If you've got thoughts on others who've stepped back from the limelight or predictions on comeback stories, drop them in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more behind-the-scenes Hollywood tales. Until next time, keep your popcorn ready and stay movie mad.